Thank you. Great to be here. Uh, recently turned 40. Let me tell you something about turning 40. When you turn 40, you will hear this in your life, and hopefully the rest of your life. You look good for 40. <laughs> you look good for 52. You look good for 63. You never hear that when you're young. You never hear, eh, you look good for 19. <laughs> if you hear you look good for 19, guess what? You do not look good for 19. <laughs> And I definitely embrace that I'm 40. I know I'm 40. I'm not trying to be young. I know this. It's over. No more medium t-shirts for this guy. No, 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 no. Saturday rolls around. Hey, we going out? We getting drunk tonight? Uh, we're not. You can. What are you doing? Uh, there's a two-hour dateline is what I'm going to do. I got to solve a murder with Lester Holt. That's what's on my docket. And I don't want to come off as grim or negative, but once I turn 40, I definitely... I, I definitely have accepted death a little more. I think when you're 20, you want to backpack Europe, you want to skydive, you want to see things. Once I turn 40, I'm like, anytime now, honestly. <laughs> I am exhausted. I am tired all day. I daydream about lying down under things. I'm like, right there, I could lie down right there, right there, right in front of the band. I'd be very comfortable. But this is what I mean. If I go to a gas station, I swipe my credit card at the pump, and it says, please come inside, see a tenant, I'd rather die than go inside and see that attendant. <laughs> I'd rather get in my car and drive three miles to another gas station than walk 10 yards in your piece of crap place of business because you can't fix the pump. I'll take death. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I, I'm married now. And I'll say this to the single, a lot of beautiful girls here. A lot, next time. A um, <laughs> lot of beautiful girls. Know this, girls. I don't shed one tear for single girls. I don't feel bad for single girls. Girls like, oh, it's so hard out there. It's really difficult. It's tough to meet a guy, is it? Go outside. They're everywhere. <laughs> Pick up a rock, throw it, you'll hit a dude. Here's a challenge, girls. Go out when nobody's out. You'll see guys. Go get gas at midnight. Oh, it's a guy. Go to Walgreens 4 in the morning. Oh, it's another guy. Go take a leak in the woods. You hear a branch snap. That's got to be a guy. <laughs> And I have a, a young daughter, and I have a little boy on the way. I'm responsible for two young lives. I want to do my best to impart some maybe shortcuts, some words of wisdom going forward. For example, when I was growing up, my father would said this to me. He said, Steve, you never judge the people as a whole. Always judge the individual. And I'll tell my kids the same thing. I'm going to say, for example, you can't hate all Jewish people. That's awful. Of course you can hate a Jewish person. You've got a bad experience with them. But it's completely unfair to hate all of Wall Street, the banking industry, the courting industry, television, <laughs> film, Hollywood itself, doctors, lawyers, the central legal system, the Federal Reserve, any sports commissioner, the mass media, southern Connecticut, northern Jersey, upper east side, west side of New York City. What's to hate? <laughs> Thank you, Black Gene Simmons. <laughs> um, sorry. He looked, that mane is gorgeous. I see her just like, <laughs> got a big forehead, I'm jealous. Um, so I, I definitely want my kids to have great friends. I was thinking about this the other day. I'll tell you who the greatest friend you can have when you're growing up is. Not only that, I'll tell you who the greatest human being in our country is right now. You ready? Fat white girls. <laughs> fat white girls rock. Fat white girls are ahead of the game. Fat white girls, whatever fat white girls do, it takes the rest of the country a few years to catch up to them, which sounds ironic. <laughs> now, let's be honest with each other. Honest. 20 years ago, 20 years ago, nobody's sleeping with black guys. 20 years ago, nobody's sleeping with black guys publicly. But 20 years ago, who's parading around down Main Street without a care in the world, sleeping with a black guy? Fat white girl. <laughs> Flash forward to today, who's sleeping with black guys? Everybody's sleeping with black guys. Thank you, fat white girls. <laughs> Stop looking at Reggie when I do that joke. 10 years ago, you're a little gay boy. You want your tongue pierced to Chico's. Well, you can't go with the football team. Well, who's going to take your little gay ass to the mall? Your first friend from junior high school, fat white girl. <laughs> Flash forward to today, who's got a gay friend? Everybody's cool with the gays. We all love the gays. Thank you, fat white girls. <laughs> fat white girls, you have a new mission, and it starts this evening effective immediately. Start banging Asian guys. <laughs> Please make us next. We're in a higher tax bracket, might know self-defense, pretty good with technology, a lot of upside, girls. And you better like the hell out of that joke, you piece. Yeah, there you go. Thank you very much. Good night.